Alright, we're working on the interior of the 55 Mercury. All it takes is one job, one job, oh yeah. All it takes is one job, one job, and everything is gonna be okay. I'm going to cut out the all the boards that we need for the different kit panels, door panels, stuff like that. I like to do them for the upholster because I have a stop shear and that helps with those long straight cuts. You know, it's also good to do whatever you can for the upholster so it doesn't cost you as much. We're going to trace out some of our old pieces here. I'm using a, a welding pencil, the Silver Street Welder's Pencil by Markel. It tends to give me a nice line on this doorboard. It's good to be able to trace them off the old ones because sometimes there's a gap that needs to be there for like uh, when the door closes after the the everything's wrapped around the door panel. When you go to open the door it doesn't catch or anything like that. When the upholster brought over the board one of them went flying into the street so we're going to use this half broken piece where we can. We don't have too many straight lines on this one, so I'm just going to cut it with my big scissors I got from Home Depot. Alright, so there's one kick panel. Our kick panel pieces look like that. The other thing that I do for the upholster is I take all the trim off and clean them and polish them. Now, we take this off and it'll show us where these holes go. We'll line up our Old piece here as best as we can. And then I'm going to take a drill and drill out the holes for the trim. As you can see our door panel has a ton of trim. So we got our holes here for all the trim. Now I need to do the holes for the clips. These guys go underneath the cloth. They clip in kind of like that. And uh, this edge kind of goes towards the edge there so the hole can be a little further in. But the piece is kind of gripping further out. In order to get these clip holes correct, I think I'm going to have to take this a little further apart and see the clips there. Just trying to be as careful as I can so these pieces can be patterned. Panel lined up here. These are going to be very sensitive to where they go, so really want to get these right. Okay, I got all our trim clips holes done. They'll slide on there just as they should. So let's get this thing cut out. Nice clean cut. It's good for these long straights. And then we just have our curved corners to cut. If somebody tells you, hey, that's not how you do that. They're probably right because I don't really know what I'm doing. I've made a few door panels and they've seemed to work. And this is how I do it. But like on the holes, like these holes for the trim clips, there is a punch tool that would work way better than this. Like a, they're like a chisel set, but they're for doing holes and for carburetor gaskets or exactly this, putting in your clips in your doors. So there is better tools out there and I'm sure there's better ways to do this. The only thing that I do have that I do like that people may not have and that you could take away from this is using the sheet metal shear for your for cutting it. That might be the only tip you can take from me on this. I put the trim on the passenger door and there was a little bit of finagling that happened there to get that all work right. So I'd like to do that to the driver's door here too, just to make sure everything's gonna fit right. So the thing I got left is this um, rear deck. I just got my widest point on it and my uh, longest point and so I'm going to just start cutting this. Now what I want to do is I want to make a paper template of that arch 
So I'll make a tape, paper tiplet to the center of the back deck, flip it, and do the both sides at once. There we go. So that's how I do the doorboard stuff. You know, it's not an exact science. Just do the best you can on it, kind of a deal. And uh, hopefully, you just have an upholster that takes care of all this stuff. Some people don't. All it takes is one job, one job, oh yeah. All it takes is one job, one 